my extended greetings to all. I am Ahmed Akhtar of Grade 4A, studying in our own English High School for Jira. Today, I'm going to talk and flip through the pages of my science manuscript magazine. The cover page of this magazine shows three children in their science suits, experimenting and discovering new things. This cover page describes me as a scientist because I am very inquisitive about science and I love to do science experiments. Without further ado, let's dive right into it and start flipping the pages of this amazing book. The magazine starts with an introduction to science. Here I have talked about science its branches, its benefits to humanity, and why I personally like science. Moving on to the next page. Here I have chosen one unique plant and one unique animal to talk about. There are some interesting facts about the bare-headed mushroom and the shoe bill. Let's go see what's next. The teeming aquatic life, the different shades and the myriad of different species of animals swimming together in harmony is just phenomenal. Here I have created a picture of the same. Let's flip on to the next page. The date palm, a symbol of peace victory and the pride of the UAE. Over here, I have written some interesting facts about the date palm. Come on, let's see what's next. Here is a segment about the environment. I have written a two-page article about the environment and I have also painted a poster on environment. This poster depicts the two extreme sides of the earth and there are small pictures thrown around the page that show ways to protect the earth. This picture reminds us of the beautiful quote said by Robert Swan, the greatest threat to the environment is the belief that someone else will save it. I also have a question for you. Which side would you choose? And there's something very interesting coming up. The riddles. I love riddles that can rack your brains. Here I have created three riddles of my own and I have put rhyming words in each of them to please the reader. Hmm, let's go for the second one. I am a cold-blooded animal with a boat-shaped body. People like to eat me with chips and my insides are never soggy. Who am I? Want to know the answer? Look back. And the answer is a fish. Yes, good job. Now, come on, let's see what the next page is about. Camels, rattlesnakes, a cactus and an oasis. The sun beats down like a hammer and vultures circle around the desert. Isn't this a perfect picture of a desert? Yes. Here, I have created just the same. Next page, please. Here, I proudly present you my very own animal crossword puzzle. With 10 interesting clues, this is a perfect puzzle you want to make if you are bored. Come on! Let's go to the next page.
lush green trees and a beautiful landscape. We all want to go to the Himalayan mountains. Here is my imagination of the Himalayan mountains with its yaks, snow leopards, baboons and mountain goats. What's next? Oh yeah, photos of e-learning. This page is very special to me. I want to take this opportunity and thank my science teacher, Miss Asha Mary Mann, who provided us with such great lessons during e-learning. Also, here are some of the projects that I have done during e-learning. Let's see what is on the next page. Plainland habitats, where the forests and the farms meet. Plainland habitats are the most important regions in a country because they can accommodate and expand agricultural and population growth. Let's see what the next page holds for us. Here is my wonderful stress buster animal word search. I guarantee that word searches can be challenging at times, but sure, they're a lot of fun. Come on, next page. The icy landscape, the deep chattering weather, and a family of cute polar bears making their way into this uncharted territory. This is a perfect imitation of a polar region. Coming to a dramatic finish, we have the sea dart with its cute fluttering wings and a happy smiley face. This is the cutest honeybee I have ever seen. You can see that I've made this honeybee with rice, different kinds of lentils, pumpkin seeds, and a variety of different seeds. And to top it all, we have an experiment, hydroponic plant. This page is exceptionally special to me. Our teacher had assigned us to grow a hydroponic plant in the comfort of our house. From chopping the lettuce stems to having it on my salad plate was nothing but magical. Seeing the green plant grow bit by bit every day, I was sure that I had a green thumb. I hope that looking at my Science Manuscript magazine gave you a fresh perspective of what we are learning in grade 4 science. I also hope that my magazine was informative and engaging. Thank you for watching.